So welcome back to another um, in the uh, in the series here of my built models. Um, if you watched the uh, the first video, you would have seen a bit of an intro, but I'm going to throw this intro onto every video so you guys know what you're looking at. And basically, I'm going to be going over all most of these models behind me. I completed before I had the YouTube channel started, so I'm going to be going through these uh, bit by bit, quick little five minute videos, uh, so you guys can take a look uh, at the videos I've built. I'll talk about the model, uh, what I, uh, some of the issues I had building it, how I I liked or did not like that kit, and then some of the aftermarket if there is any type of resin or, or, or uh, aftermarket decals I used on the kit and then at the very end I'll throw up some pictures of the completed model so you guys can get a good view of what all these look like and what I went into because there has been some interest I've heard from you guys that you do want to see some more of these uh, and not all of them are going to have full up build logs so uh, you know I can't do product reviews I can't do anything on these ones that are built so those are going to be included in these videos so any of this series in this playlist that's what it's going to be so please don't come in here thinking you're going to get a full build log um, but uh, so yeah stay tuned I will eventually have all of these videos done and I'll have them all released so uh, stay tuned um, and uh, as always my name is Sean and this is Sean's Aviation. So here we are, we're back for another In My Built Model series, and uh, this is going to be episode two of two in the A1 Sky Raider series. If you haven't seen episode one, I'll put a link up in the corner for the uh, Tamiya A1J that I built previously. So this we're going to be looking at is the 148 scale Matchbox A1E. Now the A1E was sort of a later development of the A1 Sky Raider. It had space for... Ah, oh, these things are dusty. This is what you get for keeping things on open shelves and not looking at them for years. We're not doing anything with them for years. Anyways, the A1E was a later uh, development of the A1 Sky Raider, and it included a much wider cockpit and included space for up to four people to sit in it. And the main idea for this was also to have an um, extra set of eyes when it came to doing things like uh, forward air controlling, spotting, uh, tracking, you know, of downed airmen, that kind of stuff. And it also gave them the ability to carry passengers as well as stretchers to evacuate people um, out of, uh, you know, operating bases that, uh, excuse me, that, um, you know, if they, they had the ability to, they could. There was, uh, the, that, that ability was there. So uh, it's a bit of a, a later development of it. The U.S. Air Force did pick up a number of them off of the U.S. Navy and uh, use them for some operation stuff. Um, this, as I said, is the Matchbox kit, and to be 100% honest, it is a piece of garbage. Um, it is a very, very bad kit. The fit is horrible. Uh, the detail is extremely soft, over, overly large panel lines, overly large details. A lot of stuff is molded into the kit. Uh, and it's very hard to give it sort of that look that you really want. It uh, takes a bit of effort to make it look like a half decent kit. Um, that being said, I did go ahead with it because I do love the look of the uh, the four seat A1 Sky Raider, and it does kind of it really looks cool sitting beside you know the A1 J on the shelf. It's a really neat look having the two of them together. So I did I wanted to get one, so I kind of did my best to throw it together and hide the imperfections. Most of the detail on the wing has been sanded off just because this kit um, out of the box comes with the option to fold the wings, but it is the most toy-like kit in the world in terms of hinges and the panel lines and stuff, as I said. So I had to sand and hide all of that wing detail uh, so you couldn't see it, which means the wings are basically flat planks. There's no detail in the wing at all. Uh, the bottom of the wings will even look worse than the top, and I just did as much as I could to hide everything. Um, the gears are so simplified, they literally look like, I mean, it, you don't even want to know. I don't know how else to put it other than the kit is an absolute piece of garbage. But if you're looking for a four-seat A1 family, you know, the family model, um, this is the only thing you got going for you. Uh, the clear parts were extremely thick and extremely poorly molded, so they don't even fit and match with each other, so it took quite a bit of effort to get all of that to line up properly. I did paint the, the rear one blue um, the way they would have been for the sunshade for the guys in the rear to do their work with you know radars or, or communications or whatever they were doing back there. So I did do that uh, with a bit of Tamiya Clear. Loaded it up with some weapons I had. Uh, went through and 
picked at the spares box. So I got a couple of uh, rocket launchers, more rocket launchers, a couple of bombs, a minigun. So that's got the asymmetric load with a drop tank on one side and the minigun on the other. So again, just tried to make it look, you know, kind of as, as, as close to realistic as I could. Uh, for the markings, I ended up using the Caracal decals, beautiful decals. They went down with no issues at all. Um, super easy to use, really love Caracal decals. I cannot say enough for Caracal decals. If they have a set of a scheme that you want, do not hesitate to purchase. Uh, they are worth every penny you spend on them. Uh, so these markings are for an aircraft that was based with the 4407 CCTS, which to be honest, I'm not sure what it means. I'm sure, sure it's one of the C's is for combat training school, but I don't know what the second C is for. So it's the something combat training school. Um, um, I don't know. But anyways, um, I don't understand exactly. I, I don't know. I'm just reading what's on the sheet. So it's CCTS, I'm assuming it's something combat training school. Uh, so this aircraft was assigned to the 4407 CCTS and was based in Hallibert Field in 1972, which is in Florida, which is kind of one of the head uh, bases for the secret of the uh, special forces. So this was definitely some sort of a special forces training unit teaching, you know, guys to do forward air controlling or inserting, you know, people or supporting spies or, or, or behind the operator special operations stuff. So pretty neat, uh, pretty neat school. Have to do more research to see exactly what they are for, what they did, what they're for. But anyways, uh, that is the kit. That is the Matchbox A1E in 148 scale with Caracal decals. And please only buy this kit if you're in for a lot of work and you really, really, really want this uh, this model because uh, it is a lot of work, but it turned out good. Thanks for watching. guys and as always if you are interested in any of the content you see you can access my website at www.shawns-aviation.com uh, you can see all the uh, latest pictures of aircraft and museums and the build logs of all of my current models and past models on that site and if you're interested in any of this content uh, please click the subscribe button here on uh, YouTube to follow more thank you very much and see you guys next time